going on, Marvelous Aces? A salute. Hey, guys. Welcome back to another edition of One Up Wednesday Arcade, where we play arcade and arcade-style games each and every Wednesday. And, guys, this week we have a Japanese exclusive release, guys, on a Nintendo 64. Guys, Ladies check this scene. Oh, it's your scene out, guys. One group of them, uh -huh. sir. They have no strength to resist any longer. But the leaders are still alive. There's no time now. Join the troops intercepting the ruffians. I know, guys, if you're in the States or in the UK, guys, you probably guys can't understand some of the writing here. But again, this is a Japanese exclusive, which has Japanese writing. Uh, it does have English speech, but Japanese writing, guys. And it's great N64 Joshua, rail shooter, guys. Check it out. A ruffian swarm is approaching your position. I've also confirmed Radon's location. Didn't I tell you? Make me the bait, and Radon will come to feast. Radon is jealous of me. I took you for myself. I have chosen you. much about unless you're in Japan. Guys, we are playing. Yes, sir, guys. We are playing Sumi Tobatsu, a.k.a. Sin and Punishment, guys, here in the U.S., guys. <laughs> guys, this game is a great real shooter. But guys, if you like arcade games, if you like arcade style games, guys, this is the place for you. So, guys, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. That way you'll be a part of our East family. Guys, we are growing channel here on YouTube, and we love your support and actually need it. So, guys, please, below, before the video gets started, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you get notified when we post. Also, hitting that thumbs up to like the video and sharing the video. Helps out the video and the channel a ton, guys, here on the YouTube algorithm. So, yeah, guys, Sin and Punishment. I'm just going to call it Sin and Punishment, guys. This game... Um, it's a 2000 release, guys, from Nintendo. Uh, it was published uh, or developed by Treasure, and uh, was the uh, plat or excuse me was put out by published by Nintendo, as I stated before, in the year 2000, guys, late 2000. And um, guys, I must say, guys, this game is a great get Japan exclusive from Nintendo 64. As you see here, it's like a rail shooter, very similar to like a Panzer Dragoon on the Genesis and later after that on later systems, excuse me, on the Saturn and later systems thereafter. But guys, um, it is basically similar, very similar to that. As you play a protagonist here and you're in the middle of the screen and you're shooting around different areas around you as a like a rail shooter, guys, uh, basically shooting uh, enemies as they come your way and whatnot. So dodging but um you see your missiles and bullets and whatnot as well you have a life bar you see there at the top and gain points as you go along guys get a high score all right so again guys um the game is amazing um was not released here in the states but it is very popular over here in the united states uh because of how great it is uh even though it was not released it's, it's very popular here in uh, the u.s uh, as far as you know people wanting it and, and playing it guys uh, believe it or not I uh, know you probably kind of may not have heard of it, but guys, must play, guys. On a scale of 1 to 10, guys, I'm going to give this game a 9.5. The only thing I can say about the game is it gets a little challenging once you get part in the second stage. Um, I haven't got past the second stage, guys. 
So we did get past sixth stage on this uh, video. We're doing great. <laughs> All right. All right. So that's the only thing I have to say about it. difficulty can get a little challenging at certain points of the game. Uh, but you can actually change that in the game options. So, you know, I'm being nitpicky when I say that. All right. All right, guys. So if you guys don't have a Japanese Nintendo 64, if you can mod your regular Nintendo 64 and or the Japanese cartridges actually to fit your uh, US 64, guys. And you can look that up here on YouTube on how to do that. So, yeah, guys, uh, that's basically the gist of it. Let's, let's just get into the video. Enough chit-chat and talking. We're going to get into it here for this. One Up Wednesday Arcade and some Sin and Punishment, a.k.a. Sumi Tubatsu, guys, in Japan. Let's get, get, get it. Yes, sir. Here we go, guys. All right, guys. Now, as you see here, you got your main menu here. There are different... Uh, Actually, there's only one option. That's press start. <laughs> That's what that says at the bottom. 2010, though, as you see there at the bottom. All right, and here's your main menu, guys. So you got your different options here. Uh, as you can see here, you use your, um, your uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, yeah, the, 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 the way you shoot, guys. I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, uh, using that basically to choose what option you want here, okay? So uh, we're going to go ahead and choose just a regular. I believe this is arcade mode in, in Japan. That's what it says. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get into it here, all right? All right, no chit chat. Let's do this. Here we go. And here, guys, you can actually choose. Um, I believe this is like uh, what part of the stage you want to do. As you see here, it's the time limit. So, yeah, guys, we're just going to choose this one here, all right? All right, here we go. All right, so like I said, guys, uh, the basic rail shooter, you start off with bullets and whatnot, certain bullets. And then as you gain along, guys, you can get different bullets here. Um, so, yeah, guys, um, as you see here, we got like a one shoot shotgun here. But now it's become this now, guys. So, if you hold it down, it becomes more of like an automatic, all right? All right, so basically gotta follow the crosshair. That's what I was looking for earlier, guys. Crosshair. And try to shoot these enemies, guys, as you move along. Now, the character moves along by itself. Like I said, it's very similar to like a Panzer Dragon uh, type of style game here. And, uh, you know, it, it basically controls the character to some degree, but you don't have to control it running as it just moves along and does that for itself. All right? And like I said, at the bottom part, again, guys, you have your life up at the top in the right corner. You also have your time limit, uh, which is up in the middle, uh, to get past certain parts of the stage and whatnot. Alright, and then uh, you have your score in there. Uh, next to it. Here we go, guys. At the bottom here, we have a little, a little mini boss here. This, uh, I don't know what you're calling them, a mosquito or something. <laughs> you guys let me know about Hornet or whatever it is in the comments below. Some kind of bug. And we took him out, guys. Uh, so they have mini bosses as you go along the way here. And. Uh, yeah, guys, real cool game, real cool game, very simple, easy to play, uh, like I said, gameplay is amazing, uh, uh, the story of this game, uh, basically is that it's, uh, like an apocalypse, uh, in the year 2007, to be honest with you. this game was made in 2000, and it was put in the very near future at that time, in 2007, uh, but yeah, guys, you're basically trying to avoid a, a scarcity of food, to be honest with you. <laughs> So yeah, guys. Uh, it's a global. Uh, these global monsters. Uh, these monsters are taking the globe, basically. They use them or So uh, we basically are trying to stop that and survive ourselves. All right. All right. Along with, uh, I believe, there's two other uh, playable characters on this game as well. All right. So here we go, guys. We continue on here. Uh, no, I think we got the boss coming up here. Oh wait, wait, wait. We got shoot these guys now. Oh, here he is, guys. Here's the boss, guys. Like I said, guys, uh, the bosses on this game are really cool as well. Uh, like I said, I played this boss, and I've seen other gameplay of other bosses on this game. So, yeah, guys, like I said, I, I haven't got past the second stage, guys. So, we're going to see in this video what we're made of uh, as far as this game goes. Alright. Uh, yeah, guys, very simple gameplay. You just basically use the uh, analog stick and your Z button, basically. It's what you're using, basically. Move along the shoot. All right, as we took him out, guys, on the first stage here. But here we go, guys. Let's check out this cutscene here. Saki, oh Saki, Saki, guys. Good morning, Saki. Good morning, Aaron. <laughs> Come on, we 
we've got work to do. Let's go. Here we go. All right. So let's go ahead and get in here now. Guys, this part is very easy, guys, on the stage. Uh, not too hard at all. Make sure you want to blow this up here. All right, you don't have any reason to come about behind it or not. So you gotta basically try to take them out. They don't really do too much in this game. Uh, the enemies, as far as they go. Yeah, guys, you see how we took that uh, bridge down and landed on there. You want to be kind of smart as far as how you get to shoot out. Now, the only thing about this game is for a first real shooter is you don't run out of ammo at all, okay? No ammo is going to get run out in this game, guys. Uh, you see there, we're picking up these uh, power-ups here. Take care of it, Saki. Guys, it's not known for a lot of rail shooters as far as arcade games go. When I first uh, heard about this game, I was actually shocked. I did not know there were any rail shooters on Nintendo 64, guys. I wasn't know about the first person shooters, the gold knot, the dark or not. But yeah, guys, Duke Nukem, etc. But yeah, guys, I uh, did not know about this one, guys, at all. Uh, just recently discovered it in the past year. So yeah, guys, it's, uh, it's a great game. Great game, guys. Uh, I would suggest you guys to play it on the 64 or whatnot. I haven't even played it. Alright. Alright, now we gotta shoot out this wall. Boom, there you go. Alright, let's shoot the ball on the system. Here we go. Alright. Oh, we ran through that flame there. You don't wanna run through the flames. Gotta get King Show. Pushing the hard button, guys. Alright. Alright, go ahead. Yeah, we're taking these guys out. Right and left, right and left. Blah, 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 blah. Let's take these guys out. We're gonna get more music. That's uh, Alright, so 
Now, this is the third stage, guys. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have not gone past that second stage with that chick. So, this is my first time playing this particular stage, guys. So, we're going to see. All right, what we made on here. Some moments here, guys. All right, guys. Oh. took us guys so we got a top score so let's go ahead and put in our initial xd1 baby you already know how we do if you're new to the channel and we every time we get a high score in an arcade game or fighting game or whatnot we put an xd1 which is our name guys so let's get it here and end things guys yes sir all right as we got a good time there in eight minutes 55 seconds for that because i've done eight minutes or nine minutes just on the second stage guys <laughs> so we got the stage three into the boss all right not too bad please right. continue and that will equal, guys, that our game is... Game over. Yes, sir. Our game is over, guys. <laughs> well, guys, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. This has been another presentation of One Up Wednesday Arcade, where we play arcade and arcade-style games each and every Wednesday. And we present it to you, Sumi Tobatsu, a.k.a. Sin and Punishment, guys, on the Nintendo 64, guys. A Japan exclusive. But, guys... Thanks again, uh, again for tuning in. And guys, not only do we post these videos for one of Wednesday Arcade each and every Wednesday, guys, we also post videos throughout the week on Mondays, Fridays, Wednesdays, and Sundays we live stream. So guys, if you're new to the channel or if you are, you've been watching our videos and haven't done so already, please guys, hit that subscribe button below. Hit that notification bell, that way you'll be a part of our each family. Guys, we're growing channel here on YouTube and we really need your support, guys. We have a goal of 10,000 subscribers by the end of the month. And the only way we're going to get there, guys, is if you contribute by subscribing. So guys, please hit that subscribe button below, hit that notification bell. Also, guys, helps out even better if you can like the video below and hit that thumbs up button and share the video with anyone, anywhere, guys, uh, as well. Alright? Oh God! All right. So again, as I stated before, guys, not for one up Wednesday we post these arcade and arcade style games each and every Wednesday. But Fight Night Friday, guys, we post fighting games each and every Friday. So we got a uh, pretty good uh, UFC game, guys, coming this Friday. For us. So be on the lookout for that this upcoming Friday, Fight Night Friday. Also, we got a Sunday NFL football stream. We live stream each and every Sunday morning before the NFL gets kicked off. We kick off right here, guys. Each and every more Sunday morning before it gets going. In the ESPN NFL 2K5, we play as the Miami Dolphins, guys, in an NFL season, guys. So we're going as the NFL goes. So we are in what now? Week 14 coming up. So, guys, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. And uh, yeah, guys, I would love for us for you guys to tune in and keep up with us for the rest of the season. So if you're a sports fan, sports content, you like a video, sports games, make sure you guys will check that out this upcoming Sunday. Not only you know when that video is going live or that live stream is getting, you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell, all right? All right, and also, we do Monday Night Raw, guys. Each and every Monday, we post wrestling games. And, guys, uh, this upcoming Monday, guys, we got a really good wrestling game coming your way. Uh, very, uh... 
what, of a series, guys, of games. I'm going to just leave it at that. A series of games that's kind of recent. So, guys, make sure you guys tune in for that this upcoming um, Monday. And also, if you in, guys, next Wednesday, you guys, we're hitting you back with the one-up Wednesday arcade where we're playing another arcade and arcade-style game, guys. And we're playing a classic, guys. You are not going to want to miss it, guys. A very good arcade game on the Saturn. That's all I'm going to say. On the Saturn, all right? All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it. Guys, I want to thank you guys for tuning in again. I appreciate you guys and your time, spending your time here for this uh, edition of One Up Wednesday. And guys, we will see you guys in the next video or live stream. Till next time, guys. Marvelous Aces. Out.